morning guys welcome to Tuesday uh, we didn't go to riding lessons yesterday because we were expecting the truck and we all wanted to be here the weather was crappy which also <laughs> was a contributing factor and the truck didn't show up if you guys didn't know if you didn't see yesterday's video but you're watching this one and then our truck we're still waiting Sam told them not to bother coming because it was so late at night when it got finished so just come in the morning and it's morning and they still haven't left yet so we'll see how it happens today <laughs> well it was like I know something's happening in this barn. You can't. You taught her something new? And she and her pot, her and her. Whoa! Someone told me how to do that. Somebody showed you how to do that? Yeah. So she just did high five with her mini. Fist bump. Fist bump. Do it again. Greenlee told me. Greenlee. She's a viewer on our channel. I know that name. Fist bump. <laughs> wow. How long did it take you to teach her that? Two seconds. Two seconds. Also, I have something on the docket for Miss Penny Pickle today. Also, I want to shoot a video with Sophie. This is the list. This is the paper. Who knows what video I'm going to be shooting. I was trying to teach her to rear. Yeah, we really want to teach her to rear and to sit. And she has almost sat on a hay bale. I'm going to bring down some straw and, and use it in the barn so Sophie can teach her that. Sophie's going to answer all your burning questions about the foal because there have been so many ups, not very many downs, but foals, you guys know, foals are hard and it's a huge learning curve and she's been doing so well, getting so much advice from the breeder and so much help along the way. If you saw yesterday's video, this is her brand new mini paddock. Sam and Gabby have gone to the store to get some more things. Uh, as it is right now, we can put her out there to eat, but we don't leave her out there because obviously the squares are too big. So we always stay with her when she's out there eating. It's just to get her outside and being next to the other horses and stuff. And we, we want her to be outside, uh, but he's going, he's still working on it to make it so that we can leave her out there, which will happen soon. It took me two seconds to teach her how to fist bump. Two seconds to teach her to Greenlee, send us more stuff. Yes. Because Willow is in like a learning mood. She, I that's, saw her video with every horse and I'm like, I need to do that. Did she send it to you or did she? Yeah, she sent me a video of her doing it. So Sophie and I are in the barn. Wow, Gracie did it too. Oh, Gracie did it really quick too. <laughs> Sophie's like me. She can't just ignore good behavior. <laughs> Willow just goes around doing all the tricks until she gets a response. So Sophie and I have been in the barn Mm, I'm gonna say 10 hours a day at least 10 hours a day we've either been in her stall outside in her little pen outside while she eats and plays around and does her thing or we've been in the barn with her we're the first ones in the barn in the morning we let her out while we clean everything and she either runs around and plays like crazy or Sophie has her outside in her little pen which is what we do now so we've been in the barn a lot. If you guys have sent me personal messages and I haven't responded, it's because honestly, we are swamped. But that's the thing about getting a foal, is that a lot of people are saying to me like, Laura, are you crazy? Nobody's got time for that. Like, cause there's so much work. And the truth is, is that that's all we do. All we do is our horses and spend time with them and we love it and it's been working out. We can spend 10 hours in the barn each day. Yesterday I sat in the field with Sophie and her pony in the pouring rain and it taught me that today I'm wearing my winter coat. So I brought a brand new penny ball. It's, oh, is it yours? Thank God, I thought it was Gabby's. Gab that's what happens when you're sassy. She did it herself. She smashed it into her face. Okay, no, so. I went like that and you went. No, I, did, I was just holding it like that. We made this. I don't think this is gonna work though. I think it has to be like further apart. Did you follow the picture I sent you? Yes. Gracie's like, let me do it, let me do it. Gracie's gonna do it. Yeah, so that's the point, is that hopefully these poles will guide her, but I think I'm gonna flip the pole so she comes this way and separate them a bit so that, so that maybe we can't separate them. I don't know, I'll look at the picture. We'll be back. We Look at Gracie really, Gracie really likes the pink ball. I brushed every horse this morning before I let them out. 
and then they got wet, so she's wet. Drying though. Oh, her hair is so thick. I can't get over that. I mean, it's wet, so you can't really tell, but look it. Holy moly. I'm coming for you, Penny Pickle. Okay, so I think it's time that the girls get coolers for Christmas. Yes. Sophie has <laughs> tried to fit the baby's cooler on Willow. And actually, if Willow is a good weight, it, oh no, it wouldn't even fit her at all. It's a size 30. Everybody just always comes and stands over on this all day long. I wonder if they do this when we're not here. So the plan is to get Penny to push the ball into this maze. to train like work with one horse when you have them all. Alright, so Penny went hog wild there for a second and just crashed the whole thing and then pushed the jump thing over at the end. Look. Come on. Come on. Good girl. So do you have any like, ideas on how to get her to go through the maze, follow the maze? My friend said that we could raise the, the poles just a tiny bit, but the ball would go under it. Get the big ball. Get the big ball. That was a good point. But look at Penny can use any ball. There we go. Oh, now that way, this way. Come on this way, this way, not <laughs> that way. This way, this way. <laughs> this way. Come on. So you know what would work? Good girl. That's my pony, such a good girl. I wonder if I put a string, like tied a string to the ball and then pulled the ball like so that it was always going in the right direction and I could teach her to follow the maze. Wait, come on, come out. Maybe I should have taught her to follow the maze first. It's all just a big question. Come on. So we taught our mares that if we want to work with them, we put our hand out like this and they have to come and touch it with their nose. And then that's how they know like we want to work with them. Good girl, yeah. All right, so our maze has been taken over by the pun, by the, oh, look, she's got it. Okay, come on. So I'm gonna try and get Penny to follow me while the other ponies follow Sophie. Come on, Pen. Come on, no stepping over poles, come on. Come on. <laughs> She's like, I want the treat. This way, good girl. This way, look. No, don't push the pole. Come on, this way. Walk toward me, walk toward me. Come on. 
Yeah, I know. This is hard. Come on, Penny. Come on. Come on. Good girl. If I can get her to like... Come on. I almost need to make it bigger. You gotta follow me. Come on. Come on. Yeah, so that's working. She hasn't clued in that it's a maze yet. <laughs> well, it's fist bumping your knee. <laughs> See, everything we teach the pony turns out to be bad because she spins and like you're not expecting her to spin. You teach her to fist bump and then she stands beside you and fist bumps your legs. Come on, Gracie, you wanna try? Come here. You gotta come through the door. All right, come in. Come on. Oh, Gracie's gonna do it. Look at this girl. Look at, she's a maze runner. Oh, oops, yay. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. I think we found Gracie's thing. I just need to figure out what else you could do with a maze. Like, can you guys tell us in the comments, like, if you're gonna maze train a pony, what would she do? Like, Penny will push a ball, but she's not really into mazes. Not the way that Gracie is. So what could we do? Gracie's really good at. Actually, I should have known that. Can you get Willow to do the maze? Wow, that's cool. Wait till we shoot Gabby when she comes home. Oh, she could do it probably. We definitely need to make it bigger because when we get to this section here, I don't have enough room to turn properly. But I think this is Gracie's thing, you guys. I think I could get Penny. Willow can do it too. Yeah, Willow can do it. They can all do it, but I think Gracie is really like in love with it. Oh yeah, Willow's good. <laughs> I think they can all do it. I think maze, mazes might be like the easiest thing. No, not for Willow. She can can it too. All right, so we're gonna leave this up because we are gonna do a lot more work with this. I feel like soon we're gonna be at the stage where we could put together like a routine of stuff for our horses to do and put on a little show for you guys and like practice it and practice it. Like this is fun for Sophie and I. Yeah, white tips? Yeah, little white tips. Yeah, we're gonna have two Palominos. Gracie's a Dunalino. She's got the Dun Jean. You can tell for anybody who doesn't know, she's got the Dun Jean, and she hey. also has zebra stripes on her legs, which is super cool. And then uh, Sophie's baby, we don't know what she's gonna look like. She could end up with some spots on her. Her parents are both Blanca Appaloosas. Or she could just end up being a solid, uh, Palomino, which is perfectly fine with us. I, I, I like solid Palomino. I love solid Palominos too. Thank you. All right, it's time for us to let them have a nap and go feed the baby. Time to feed the baby.
I love this little pasture. I wanted one for so long for my little mini mi miniature. Why did I say mini chi? Medici. I, I forget to talk sometimes. So she's always wanted to have like a little tawny pasture and have it like, like a little tiny barn. And yeah, she wants to like she's always wanted to do like have her own little thing that she can decorate and make it really pretty. So in the future she will have like a whole different kind of setup and a whole different kind of situation. But she loves this little area that Sam's working on to make it more safe for her. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 